Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to save your animations in Premiere Pro. So this is a really good thing to save some time. Let's get started and I'll show you as we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag over just some footage here. This is a food clip that I've got from my course. Uh, if you want you know, learn Premiere Pro from the ground up through a tutorial-based system, go ahead and check out my course in the description below. It's really highly rated and I spent a lot of time to make it a great place to further your Premiere Pro learning experience. Anyway, once the footage is inside, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create our animation first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the new item button right here and go to adjustment layer. Click OK on that so it sets it to whatever this is. Drag and drop that in. And let's say that we want to do this like a vlog or a blog or something. We want to do that like that pop zoom where it zooms in really quick. So right at the beginning of the adjustment layer, we're going to click on the adjustment layer, go up to our effect controls, and then we're going to go down here and do effects and find in effect. If the effects are not open down here, you can just go over here. Uh, they might be up here to the top right. Just find them. And we're going to look for the effect called transform. And again, if you can't find effects anywhere, just go to window and then look for the effects, click it, and it'll light it up wherever it is. We're gonna take transform, drag it on to our adjustment layer. Now, once we have transform over here, we're then going to create an animation. It's a really simple animation. We're gonna go scale, click that button to start the time. I'm holding the shift key to go five out of time. You can just click 10 times if you'd like. I'm gonna go in maybe 15 frames, so three clicks or 15 of the small clicks. We're then just gonna zoom it into maybe like 115. And let's just take a look at this animation. So it's a pretty slow one, but that's okay because we're actually gonna change this around a little bit. And maybe let's just make this a little more, let's go 130 instead. Really sort of sell it here. All right, so now we got a little zoom there, but we need to make it look fun. So we're gonna go into the right keyframe here. I'm gonna click on this and drag it in so we have a little better view of this these keyframes. I'm gonna click on this one, right click, and I'm just gonna click on easy in. And so now we have a little bit of that better motion. It kind of comes in a little bit, but we want this to be like really, really poppy. So we're gonna go down, we're gonna drop down, and we're gonna look at the velocity here. If you click on the keyframes, you can adjust it. I'm gonna take this little circle and just drag it on over. And what this is doing is it's creating this really fast and then slow into it. So you see it has this like, it feels like um, you would actually be doing this on a camera lens. So now we have that fun little pop zoom in. And since it's on a effect or a uh, adjustment layer, right when it's done, it'll cut back. As you can see, if you wanted to add in an, a zoom out animation, you can do that as well. We're just gonna stick with this to keep the tutorial brief. So we have our animation saved. So now what do we wanna do? Well, we want to right click on transform up here and we just wanna click save preset. So if we go to save preset, we can then name our preset. So I'm just gonna name it um, pop zoom vlog, you know, something for that. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say anchor to endpoint. And when I click the OK button right there, it's going to anchor it to the beginning. That way, wherever we drop it, it's going to anchor it to wherever our cursor is. Now, where did it save? If we go over to our effects here and we go up to presets, it just saved it right at the top here. Uh, I like to right click and hit new presets bin and just name them like my effects. Or if you have a lot of them, just start organizing them. But I'm just going to say my effects. And then we have now have my effects. I'm gonna drag and drop that into my effects. And now we have pop zoom vlog. So we got two ways to use this in the future. We can just drag and drop it onto the footage. And you're gonna notice that it's going to go right at the beginning of the footage because we did say anchor it to the beginning. Um, so that is going, it's gonna anchor it to wherever the beginning of the footage is. So this is gonna just add the animation to the footage itself. If you want a little more control, what I typically do is I just create myself an adjustment layer drag that adjustment layer wherever I want it to go. So let's say I wanted it to start here on the food. And now I can just drag that pop zoom on and the pop zoom happens. Well, however long I want it to last, I can say, you know, stop right there. It'll cut back out. Let's say I wanted to create another one right afterwards. So drag it on, drag pop zoom on. We're good to go. Like I said, if you wanted this to be more of a full effect, before you save that preset right here, just do the reverse, just zoom it back out. And then whenever you drop that on, it'll zoom in and it'll zoom itself back out. But that is how you save your animations in Adobe Premiere Pro. Create yourself an entire library of these and you will be way quicker at editing because you don't have to animate it every single time. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to continue your Adobe learning, like I said, I have a course. Check that out in the description below. Great topics in there and it's a really, really fun course to go through. 
If you have any more questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. And until that time, guys, see ya.